worship God in under two minutes. What is worship? Worship is surrendering yourself to God. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you so I will bless you as long as I live and your name I will lift up my hands. Worshiping God is serving God and that's what true believers do. Because it's not about what you believe, it's about who you serve. Because even Satan believes in God, he believes and knows that the Bible is true. Which is why he doesn't want you to read those things or know that God exists because he knows it's real and the power in it. So instead of telling somebody, do you believe in God? Instead tell them, who do you serve? Because that will show a true believer. Worshiping God is not just about hands in the air, crying just on your knees. Those are external emotions of what's going on in your spirit, of surrendering yourself and just giving yourself to God. Worship is a way to build your relationship with God. It also creates comfort in knowing that he's there for you and you trust him. To trust him more, the more you worship and pray and read the Bible because you're learning more about him. Because you won't trust anybody with your life if you don't know the person. The more you spend time with him, the easier and better things are going to be because you're giving him access to you. Because you draw near to him and he'll draw near to you you're devoting your time to love him as we were created to be well we sometimes try to find other things to worship like money idols or some other sort of thing to love and worship because that's what we're made to do but Satan's really good at twisting what you're supposed to worship so to worship God correctly it's doing it spiritually and with a genuine heart worship and church is not about what you're gonna get out of it but it's what you're giving to God. You're giving God your time. You're giving him your problems, your burden. You're letting go and you're letting him take charge of everything. And you need to do that every single day, not just once a week at church, but live your life 24 seven for God. That's where you'll find true devotion for God in wanting to do those things, not just I have to do these things. Messenger out.